Ah, 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 ah. We're going to try and find something that we can turn into art. We're gonna start by looking outside. Maybe, nah. Oh man. No. Oh my gosh. It does look delicious, but no. No, no. Definitely not. Nah. I don't even use that kind of clay. Ooh. I love pot. Nah. What is this? <laughs> Uh, let's see, what's the, what the heck is that? <gasps> nah. <laughs> we are frolicking. Ooh, come here. Maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Oh. Nah. What the devil? What? I say, how did you do that? Randy, explain yourself. Good girl. Oh my god. Someone broke this, this poor plant. I'm so sorry, but it's what the people want. <laughs> What's that? Let's go inside and see if there's anything in there. Okay, let's see what is in the house we can use. Ooh, oh yes. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! This is a piece of firewood. And this is a piece of paper. And this is some wheel bearing grease, but it has nothing to do with the video, so let's bring this back. You know what else has nothing to do with this video? This video is sponsored Toon Blast. I like money. Toon Blast is a free to play mobile game available on all devices where you have to solve puzzles by blasting cubes and creating powerful combos to pass levels. Play over 7,000 levels with great graphics, fun characters, and smooth animations. You can join a team to work with other players from all over the world or compete against them in challenging events to win great prizes. There's also a buttload of fun and challenging mini games you can play to claim rewards. And if I'm being totally honest, I usually don't even play mobile games, but I'm already on level 295, if that tells you anything. Another great thing is you don't even need Wi-Fi to play, and there are no ads to disrupt your game. I love playing Toon Blast while having family time, or on the toilet, instead of poisoning my brain with Twitter. I'm never calling it X. Also, the game has millions of great reviews and ratings on the App Store and Google Play. So download Toon Blast now using the link in the description and get three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. Okay. This I'm going to make out of the piece of firewood. But before we do that, I'm gonna tell you how I made this. You start by taking a piece of papier and folding it in half. Then draw a design on one side of the fold crease. You see, when I was young, we didn't have fancy software that could do stuff like this digitally, so this is how I learned to do it if I needed a drawing to be symmetrical. Once you've completed half your drawing, fold the papier over and give it a good rub with something rigid. And after unfolding the paper like a beautiful butterfly, we see that the pattern has been transferred to the other side. Just go back over darkening up the lines and you're finished. Now that the design is complete, we need to turn our firewood into a bloke of wood. To do that, I created a flat spot on one side with a hand planer. That way when I bring it to the bane saw, it doesn't roll around and stuff. Then I cut a few slices, select the best one, planed it, ripped it, and this is our bloke of wood. Now that we've planed it and cut it and all that stuff, it's crazy that it used to just live inside of a, a log. So glad that noise is happening. Every time I hit record, an airplane flies by. What is happening? Fly somewhere else! As I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying. Bradford pear is a garbage tree, and I don't like them. I mean, yeah, they produce pretty flowers, but why would you plant a fruit tree knowing that it will never, never produce, produce fruit? fruit? Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and poop the pattern onto here, and then we're gonna cut it out onto this. This is a scroll saw. Basically, this thing goes up and down really, really fast, and uh, you just p push the piece of wood up into there, just kinda. <laughs> and, you know, cut it along the lines until you got your pattern cut out, and then we can start carving it. So that's the next step. So let's do that. Oh. Also, it makes music. Whoa! Actually, I wonder what happens if you do this. Whoa! 
Okay, let's stop there. So after gluing the pattern onto the bloke, we need to cut it out on the scroll saw. But wait! I almost forgot that it's going to be a lot easier to cut out these little areas first while we still have extra wood around the perimeter to hold on to. To do that, we're first going to need to drill holes in each of those spaces first. The reason for that is in order to cut them out, I have to poke the blade through each of the holes. Because, well, I'm pretty sure you get the idea. And yes, I have to take the blade off, put it through the hole, reattach it, and cut it out for each and every pierced section. It's kind of a pain in my buttholes, but I think it will be worth it in the end. Now that we have all of our holes finished, we can cut out the perimeter silhouette. Block via. But don't throw away those pieces, because we're going to hot glue them back on. The reason for that is to give us a flat top and bottom surface for when we glue on and cut out the side profile pattern. Block via. Once finished, you can easily pop off the bits that are still attached. So now that we have the knife to this point, it's really uncomfortable out here in the garage, it's super hot and humid, so I think we should go to the shed. But before we go to the shed, I think we should go to the shed. So let us tomato. Okay, the next thing to do is to carve it. The first part of the knife I'm going to carve is the handle because it's the part I don't want to do. I'm going to cut everything except for a strip right here, and then this whole corner piece on all sides will be removed. By the way, these are going to be like violin scrolls. The way we're going to do that is with tools and the bitterness that you hold deep in your heart. Boy. That escalated. By the way, you don't need all of these fancy tools. I've just collected these over the years. And don't underestimate the hobby knife. I use this literally for everything. You can get this super cheap, and then a butt ton of replacement blades on the Amazon. For... On the Amazon for like 10 bucks or something. It's like... Ow! F ah! That's a good reminder that knives are sharp. So be careful. I selected this bit, but I don't remember what it's called, so we'll just call it Carvey B. To begin this wonderful art project, also known as WAP, I carve away the corner areas of the handle up to the lines I drew, until it looks like this. Then, move to the scrolls and start thinning them down, while beginning to blend their base in with the handle areas I just worked on. Now, redrawing the scrolls, being sure that they are the same on each side. A good way to do that is to take a picture of the side you just drew, that way you have a reference when you draw the other side, so you can make them the same. Switching to a ball-shaped bit, I start carving the scrolls into their basic shape. Then switching to a cylindrical one, I add some definition. You know what, let's just watch the carving and I'll interrupt whenever I feel explanation is needed. I feel explanation is needed. Using a chisel, I come down from the top, sort of, you know, stabbing into the wood. Then I come in it from the side, intersecting with the previous cut, removing that section, and crispening up the lines on the scrolls. Back to the rotary, I'm relieving those designs that are on the front and back, basically just removing all the background material to make those tiny little swirly dudes stand out. Using the baby chisels to just get into those corners and clean out the crooks and nannies. And while they're out, I'll go ahead and knock off those corners to give it a cool sort of beveled look. Lock thy up. Then I repeat the process for the other scrolly doos on its bottom until it looks lock thy up. Here, I'm drilling holes through the side of the little loopy areas I drew on in order to give me access with one of my uber long shank bits to really get in there and clear out all the gingivitis. Now, the final step before the rest of the other final steps is to take the hobby knife and remove the weird in those tight spots with a back and forth motion, similar to chopping a log in twain. Log fire. No! No more. And no less. Pretty much all the details and whatnot have been carved. All that's left to do basically is all of these details like this. I don't want them all squared off. See how they have that hard edge? I want those rounded over and lower this entire area in the center and then round over th everything. Same with these little parts up in here. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna do that with uh, carving tools and knives and things like that. I might even use...
Hey, Dookies! Michael here. Bobby is finished with the knife. Where's my shirt? Also, don't forget to download Toon Blast using the link in the description and get three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins.